In this video, we'll see how to work on the spell check. Suppose if you make a, some spelling mistakes and all, how does Outlook check it? Let us see that. So I'll just click on this new email. Okay. So in this body text or you can say as message body, I'll type some text. There are many methods. You can just keep on typing here or I can just give you a formula here. You can just type as equal to R A N D one comma one. So R A N D it will give a random text, one sentence and that one paragraph. So once I press enter, you can see you'll get one sentence with one paragraph. Yeah, this is how you got it. So that is some text which is given video provides a powerful way. Suppose if I try to make some mistakes, suppose if I try to change the spelling here, I'll just remove any one word from each uh, one alphabet from each word here. And if you see there's some spelling mistake in everywhere. Now if I want to check the spelling into this entire text, how do I do that? So for that you have to go to the review tab and you have to click on this spelling and grammar. Okay, so if you see there's a spelling and grammar, if you're using the Microsoft Word, you can understand it easily. So it says this is the word and these are the suggestions which are given here. So I think video is the correct one. So I can just click on this change. The red color underline, if you see, it will be changed to normal text. If I click on this place, you see video. Same way, if I can go to the other one, provides, click on change. Same way, it is saying as powerful. If you want, you can ignore like this, ignore, ignore all. Or if you want, you can keep on changing anything. I can click on this change option. And then finally, I can click on this close. So there's one more word, which is W-Y. So I'll select as W-A-Y, click on this change. It says spell check is complete and you can just click on OK, right? And this is how the spelling check can be edited into your uh, Microsoft Outlook. It works same like Microsoft Word. There's one more thing if you if you would like to know that is word count. In a word, you can find out the number of words you have. So if you use this word count, it tells you how many pages you have, how many words you have, and all the details you can get at this place. So I'll just click on this close button and I'll just click on this close option. So I hope you're able to understand how do we work on the spell check and also on the word count. That's all for this video.